Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us. For this special figure showcase, we're going to be looking at a 1989 Japanese exclusive combiner. This guy's name is Lancross. I've just mentioned he came out in 1989 and that coincided with the cartoon Victory that was running on the Japanese TV screens at the time. They had their own wave of figures, again referred to as the Victory line of toys, and he was part of them. Now with this video, I'm going to mainly discuss just the combiner. I'm going to introduce the individual robots, but I'm not going to spend too much time on them. And the reason for that is I'm going to be giving them their own individual videos. And I'll explain exactly why in a second. Um, so we'll quickly look at the Gestalt figure there. So it's quite an impressive figure. I like the fact that, again, we've gone to six bots, a bit like Devastator. And they've all got their retrospective places that you can combine them all into. The good thing about this figure is that it did come out in a gift set. And they did come out, as I say, in individual, not individual, in double packs. And again, this is the reason I'm going to be discussing more in a minute. So if you had the main uh, gift set pack here, then you've got all the six bots inside. And of course, all the kibble that comes with it. Now, if we switch on to the back, and this is one of the main reasons why I'm not going to be going through all the individual robots. I'll go through the names in a minute. But you can see that all the little individual robots can combine with each other. So there's literally 36, something like that, combinations that you can have with the individual robots. And that's why I'm going to do their own video, because this will take about two to three hours if I went through them all. So there, as I say, is the main gift set. Then they had the twin packs that came out. Uh, so we've got a twin pack here of the two figures. And as to these, I've got the inserts as well. But a bit like the other combiners, they had all the bits of kibble that came in with them. So there is two feet inside that one and of course here we go with wing wavers box you've got the head and all the other parts so the good thing about the combiner is you could get it in the gift set you could piece it together with the double packs themselves so I better just quickly tell you the names of all the robots that combine to form him here we've got dash and Taka. And the names pretty much describe exactly what they are it's quite a clever name to be fair so you've got wing and waver and then you've got Mac and tackle and the reason I said they describe pretty much what they are, wing waver, we've got wing is a jet, <laughs> waver is like a hovercraft, and of course Mac with the, the space shuttle, they've just pretty much named exactly what their alternate modes are. But they're the six robots, and as I've just shown you on the back of the box, you can combine these in an abundance of ways. So many ways, it, it's, it's amazing, it is really good. So I'm going to save that for an indiv another individual video in a second. I'm quickly going to have a look at the packaging. This packaging is a bit better, it's the mint and seal box. So you've got, if I show you there, that's the victory bit of artwork there. So you've got Star Saber and Desirus. And the and man, I said that's the same as the cartoon. That unfortunately we didn't get, but it was being aired in Japan at the time. Again, I apologise right now for not going into way too much detail and taking them all apart and doing all the transformations now. I just wanted to basically give you a quick insight into Land Cross. And what I'm going to be doing literally now, I'm going to be taking them apart and doing videos on the individual and twin packs themselves. So if you've got any questions, uh, please uh, fire them at me. Or if you'd like me to maybe in the future, just do a huge one all together. I suppose I could piece all the videos together once it's done. But yeah, here he is, Japanese exclusive figure, one of my favourites, Land Cross. I hope you enjoyed looking at him and take care. 